Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's the one and only Mimi here. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and click that red subscribe button to join my squad. I've been loving these and I like making them because y'all really don't be knowing what be going on with the whole hairstylist thing. Like if you're looking to be a hairstylist or you're already a hairstylist, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any client horror stories because I'll be reading the comments, I'll be responding because yeah. But um, y'all like I have amazing clients the ones that come back to me the one that sticks with me the ones that refer i have great clients i love clients don't ever think that i'm complaining about my loyal clients or don't ever think that i'm bashing anyone these are just my experiences because like i said there's always two sides to a story and people love 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 to bash black hairstylists and they don't really tell what they be doing like it's none of that but i want to like also shed some light that right now my salon suite is not up to par um i don't feel comfortable doing hair in it right now um it's also losing me like clientele and i guess in the end of the day money and it's not fair um what i mean by that is it's like the beginning of summer officially so it's hot like it's 90 degrees here 95 degrees here every other day 85 degrees and when i get hot i get sick um and when i say sick like i literally get headaches i'll throw up stomach hurt headaches um fainting stuff like like i literally get sick and no matter how much water i drink to stay hydrated uh-uh if it's hot and i overheat it's done so i guess a week ago or two weeks ago the ac in my salon suite has not been working and um i didn't really mention it because like sometimes i'd be tripping sometimes and i don't really know but it wasn't until somebody else um one of the tenants mentioned something we're in a group chat and they mentioned how hot it was and was asking if anybody else ac was not working or whatever and like lo and behold the ac is not working so the manager i guess she like gave like a dismissive answer and was like okay you know um we're gonna have somebody come out tomorrow and look at it and nobody came out tomorrow because i get a notification when people are coming in my suite when i'm not there so nobody came the next day so it's just like you're having people you're having stylists who use heat on a daily not have ac you know is it's, it's it's uncomfortable for not only the stylist but for the client as well what if you have a client that's you know it's an older lady and she might have heat flashes or you know somebody might get heat strokes and stuff like that then there's a liability and you're not providing the best environment for your client and i i'm a professional that if i'm not comfortable i know my clients are not going to be comfortable i try to make everything nice and comfortable for my clients it's bad enough that we don't have freaking reception and where i'm at because we're in a basement I don't know why would they put like a hair place in a basement of a mall but that's just what it is so it's like i let it go that there's no reception and that you only have to work on wi-fi i let that go but now that there's no ac in the dead beginning of june that's when i draw the line and like i have to scale back from taking my clients because it's just unacceptable for me and like you expect everybody to pay rent every week and, and rent is not cheap especially because of inflation things are not cheap right now so it's like i'm paying rent to be in a basement that is not up to code that's not up to par that has rodents running around um critters running around and now there's no ac and yes i saw a mouse the other day it didn't come in my suite but i saw it run past the door of my suite and i was just i don't know i don't know if it went to my neighbor's suite i don't know all i know is with i got my stuff i locked my door and i left because i'm not i'm not i'm not here with the games don't play with me right now i'm not here with the games um i did see roaches there one time and it's like you can say oh yeah make sure everybody cleans out their trash which i do on a daily um and don't leave food which i don't leave food i clean up like i said after every client daily but at the end of the day we're in the basement this is the breeding grounds for them to be at what, what did you expect um have any of these things been around my clients no never because i don't play like that like i said don't play with me right now when i feel like something's unsafe and not up to par i'm gonna shut it down and i'm going to let management know and i'm gonna let management figure it out before i figure before i make a decision on what i want to do i am going to be working at another place soon though um they got ac they don't got rats they don't got roaches 
and i will be trying to direct some of my clients over there um it's just across the street so i'm just trying to make sure everything is a nice smooth transition until this other place do what they need to do because it's unacceptable it's unacceptable like i had a client come um last week and it was terrible um i'm apologizing I, I always apologize even if things are not my fault because you just you just never know and i have to stop doing that because i always do that but um it was really hot and good thank the lord that she had a curly unit and i didn't have to do no heat or nothing on it because she would have been burnt up and like i opened the door and cracked it a little bit so that some type of breeze would come in but there was no breeze there was no breeze i'm over there sweating like a dog underarm sweating my back roll is sweating my butthole sweating everything is sweating and i'm trying not to get on like be in this girl's personal space even though doing a wig is really like a personal space type of activity type of install and i'm just apologizing because like this is not the type of thing that i do everybody knows i take pride in my work i take pride in my space i bless my space i say a prayer before i do anybody's hair i'm just i just feel like it's just not up to par and it's really sucking the fun out of doing my job that i like to do and i feel like my location is the always the only location that isn't up to par like i feel like my location is a location that they neglect all the time because my friend they've been to like other locations you know to get serviced by other people and they were like their location is better like they got this they got that da, 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 da. and like the only reason why i don't want to move locations because i'm i'm saying like this location is really close to my house and it's like if i leave i want to be leaving and going to my own spot because i don't like to move around a lot like i really don't like and it's really not good for my clients too some might follow you some may not but i don't know like i'm just at like a loss for words because it's like why are you dragging your feet to get ac back into our units when it's the dead start of of summer and you know you, you had your clients they gotta take a break they in the hallways fanning themselves everybody's fanning themselves and it's just it's just unacceptable like it's just i don't know like and i and i understand people like people have other things to do cool but people don't really understand the severity of situations until you're in that situation and then now you understand and i i just i don't know like it's really kind of upsetting me and my homegirls at this point 